everyone it's another day another tuesday when we read our book it's still the chapter three and then we continue again as we are looking at uh, quotations translations and commentaries on qigong meditation embryonic breathing okay before i go on i want to ask if you are registered for the oncoming neurosomatic quantum key healing training one of the speakers uh, will be joining us all the way from india miss priyanka mishra and she would like to talk to us about uh, brain function the triune brain theory uh, why do we procrastinate and the strategies for achieving peak performance okay uh, I look forward to seeing you. It will be on the 16th and the 17th of November. You can check the link in my bio. Please do well to uh, register. So let us go on from where we stopped last Tuesday with this quote. Go into a quiet room every day and protect and preserve your key, your energy. Staying at the two gates, keeping the mind in the real lower dantian, which is connected to them. That is keeping your connection. As always, my little baby is here. Uh, so you may hear some voice from him or from his uh, siblings. They are just children. So we have to cope with that. It's natural. Thank you. All right. So if there is key, in the insubstantial center, which is a real lower dantian, then I have my life. If there is an alive, that is key in life, then I have a shape, the physical body. When there is a shape in the shape, that is every physical body, then I have the original essence. When there is a refined original essence in the essence, then I have an abundant key. When there is an abundant key in my key circulation, then I have a strong spirit. When there is a highly cultivated spirit in my spirit, then I will become natural. That is, having unification of my human spirit with the natural spirit. They, the virtues or the way, the natural virtue, uses the shape, that is the physical body, as a carriage. And thou, the natural way itself, uses the key as the horse. The soul uses the essence as its root. And the vigorous spirit, po, uses the eyes as the doors. When the shape is fatigued, then the natural virtue day is dispersed. When key is derailed, then the Tao nature revolts. When the essence is over consumed, then the hun, which is the soul, is damaged. When the eyes are touched or attracted or distracted, then Po, which is a vigorous spirit, becomes weakened. So this is a quote. And here we try the, the writer tried to explain that Zuan means marvelous or incredible. And when this word is used in Taoist documents, it means mysterious. Mysterious. Zuan Yuan means the mysterious origin and implies Dan Tians. Normally, it means the upper Dan Tian and or real lower Dan Tian, or simply put, the lower Dan Tian. Since the lower Dan Tian generates and stores the water key, uh, sometimes Swan may also imply water. Therefore, in this document, Swan Yuan means the real lower Dantian, 
which is just below the abdomen. So if we are able to keep our mind at this real lower dantian, pay at, paying attention to the source of the bio battery where we store our key, our energy, then there is a marvelous key at the dantian, which is the root of life. And that is why they call this positioning at the lower dantian is referred to as the ocean of key when the energy that we generate from all the pulses that we make within our body as our blood flow, flows through the veins and the arteries, as we breathe in and we have pulses, the movement of the abdomen expanding and contrasting, as our heart beats and all the pulses within our body, as every cell vibrates on its axis, like every matter does, all this pulled together gives us the electromotive force and then if we are able to focus this gathered key in the base, which is a real lower dantian, then we can say that we have a good root, rooting, okay? So if we are able to manifest this marvelous key into life form, then we have a strong and healthy physical life and our shape, the physical body, will be complete. When we have a complete and healthy physical body, then the physical essence, which are the hormones, as we said in chapter 2, can be produced and preserved efficiently. Once we have this abundant essence, which is the, are the hormones, then we can convert them into key and make our key circulation and storage abundant. When our key is abundant, we can then lead it upward through the spine, which is called the trusting vessels, to nourish our spirit, which is seated in the upper dantian within the brain, okay, linked to the brain. So then we are able to raise up our vitality. And finally, if we can keep our spirit, our morale, our will, our intentions, I, and then keep it stay, staying or steady at its residence at the Mud Pill Palace, then we'll be able to connect our spirit with the spirit of nature. And this is a stage called the unification of heaven and human. Okay. Another quote here says, Therefore, you should keep the shape that is our physical body calm and safeguard our key our energy. We should protect our essence and treasure our spirit. Thou, nature, and they, its ways, should be kept condensed and closed, that is, maintained in the right path closely, and the hun and po, the hun, which we refer to as a soul, and the po, okay, uh, here, the hun and the po can what? be safeguarded firmly. This is what is meant by containing the Tao without speech. Gaining the real key. Muscles and skin are moist and glossy. Obtaining the root of the Tao. Hands and feet sweat. The essence which is key is abundant. Not hungry and thirsty as a turtle or dragon's embryonic breathing, soft and slender, existing for a long time. When used, is not exhausted. Drink in the marvelous spirit, ascend the spirit to the ultimate purity, returning the years back to the infant, and the Tao is kept natural. The ultimate Tao is not far, but close to your own body. If you study and practice diligently and carefully, life can exist forever. This paragraph, paragraph concludes that in order to have a healthy life, we must protect and safeguard four things in our bodies. These are our physical body, sink, our key, essence, and then our spirit. Physical body, key, essence, and spirit. In order to protect them, we must follow the rules of nature and the ways of its manifestation. 
nature is Tao and its manifestation is they, DE. In this case, our spirit, soul, and vigorous energy can be firmed and protected. Once we have comprehended these theories, these theories, we simply have to practice it constantly. Just talking about it will not lead us to the goal of practice. Those who comprehend the Tao and also know to practice it diligently will verify its truth. The verifications of this practice are a healthy physical body, strong key circulation without becoming fatigued easily, and then breathing smoothly, softly, and slenderly. These are the uh, benefits of practicing. Now, another quotation here says, those who cultivate the Tao today absorb the key either from the five elements okay eight directions four timings sun and moon or stars and mistakenly think the key can be taken from the crown and nose though all of these methods were recorded in ancient classics however it is rare to see one who has accomplished the goal of this circulation. This goal also cannot be reached by those who rely on food and herbs. Therefore, all of those who cultivate the key cannot obtain its secret and waste the essence or effort frequently. If, even if you have obtained entrance that is the keys of training you must also comprehend this secret and practice it diligently and delicately without slackness or laziness those who wish to absorb the key through embryonic breathing must absorb the internal key by seven gulps after midnight whenever a gulp is completed then regulate the key for six or seven breaths and then again gulp when gulp it is like the water passing the truth with the sand of can this means the key is transportable that is we lead the key straight downward to the lower dantian and condense it there until it is full at the abdomen as if there were an embryo inside all right so this is referring to the alive key of the five elements which are metal wood water fire and earth these five keys correspond with the five keys in five internal organs which are the lungs kidney liver heart and spleen then the eight directions implies the space or here around us and then there is also the nature's four seasons, the seasons of nature. So this explains in totality that some people among the practitioners have learned to absorb key from the five elements, the ether, the four seasons, or the sun, moon, and stars, through their crown, chakra, and through nose breathing. However, it is rare to see that the result of longevity practice is significant. It's a lifetime journey. The results are the same for those who attempt to accomplish longevity by diet and taking herbs. So some people do the practicing, some people go by the way of diet and herbs. So if we cannot comprehend the secret and practice diligently, we are only wasting our time and effort. Okay, another quote here says, Embryo is formed from the counseled key, and the key is initiated from the embryo. Consequently, the embryo is completed due to the supply of key. Once the embryo has been formed and completed, millions of illness will automatically be repelled and the spirit will therefore reside at its residence. Keep the three, that is essence, key, and shen, united as one, and maintain them at the center, the upper dantian. 
the corpse worms, which causes death, will be falling, and this will gradually lead you to immortality. Today's learners, either learning from ancient methods or instructed by those who do not even know the Tao, all close the mouth and seal the, the nose by holding the breath and emphasize on holding the breath for a long time. They do not know that this will cause the obstruction and stagnation of ki in the five internal organs. Our breath should be continuous and smooth. Okay? Thus, I mean the righteous ki. This is not the way of natural breathing. This will make the shape of our physical body and spirit become fatigued constantly. Therefore, they render them useless. When absorbing the key, that is training or cultivating the key, the joints must be transportable, loose and movable, not rigid. The stomach should be like an ocean. The stomach area should be fluidy, okay? And open, that is loose. Then receiving the original air essence as we inhale and firming the key at the key center, just below the navel. When the receiving has been completed, then return the joints into the closed condition while gradually allowing the external key, that is the hair we breathe, to exit through the nose. In this case, the internal and external will not be separated automatically. The key concealed in the embryo will be retained. However, you should bend your fingers and count the number of breathings in your mind. From 10 to 100, from 1 to 2 to 300. This is called little smoothness. Ziao tongue. This will result in the sharpness of the ears, listening, and eyes seeing. Hundred illnesses can be healed. Okay, so um, the worms referred to here as corpse worms, otherwise called shi chong, are the three emotional worms that are able to agitate our emotions and lead us in the path of death. These three worms are desires at the upper dantian, two, seven emotional attachments at the middle dantian, and three, desires for alcohol and sex. As long as we have these three worms, our righteous ki, zeng ki, will be affected and harmed. This will lead us to sickness and finally death. Now, the little smoothness mentioned here means the smooth circulation of the key. So, in order to achieve longevity, we must first form our only embryo in the real lower dancing. We must first be able to breathe abdominally, do the abdominal breathing that can store up or increase the level of key in the abdomen at the bio battery. All right, so we must learn how to correctly do the embryonic breathing. Once we achieve this, we can be healthy and live long. But if we choose or desire to reach enlightenment, we must then learn how to lead the key from the abdominal area to the brain, which is the upper dantian. And now we talk about the three origins. Okay, we talk about the essence. The key and the spirit, all these can then be united. Now, another quotation here is the Tao says, If you restrain and stuff the nose and mouth in the practice of the embryonic breathing, then this theory is unreasonable. Since the mouth and the nose are not transportable, then the key will be stagnant at the lungs. And damage them. How can it be beneficial? Those who absorb or train the internal key 
though the effort is very little at little time slowly but consistently the result can be seen quickly the accomplishment of this also depends on the peaceful spirit and calm mind no vexation no disturbance this means the key parts are open for smooth circulation for smooth circulation there is an original internal harmony which stays the whole day without dispersion the flesh and skin are moist and shining the hands and feet sweat sweat heavily this is a secret of the Tao for longevity after midnight he says swallow seven times then immediately hold the key keep this internal key internally and do not release it while using the nose and mouth to inhale and exhale external key gradually and slowly without any mixture with the internal key before dawn swallow seven times and after dawn again swallow seven times total there are 21 swallows then stop those whose bodies are large then they should not be limited by this number that is they can do more whenever there is an empty stomach immediately swallow internal key when the internal key is full there is no hunger at the beginning it will have a little it will have a little difficulty after practicing for a long time it becomes marvelous the hairs are black the teeth are strong the eyes are sharp and shining tenders and bones are all solid and firm brave with embryonic spirit the face is lustrous walking is light the mind without desires or attachment the spirit not greedy or long for glory or ego the profound profound father that is understanding with a newborn baby with this practice exercising patience and there will be no boundary which cannot be reached keeping the soul mm, and the poor vitality firmly at their origins the three that is essence key and shen will automatically and truly be unified into one forever conserve thou keep the spirit peaceful and calm the spirit will naturally and automatically be connected to the supernatural divine this is called young bow that is lasting treasure in Tao, and is the accomplishment of embryonic breathing through cultivating the original key. This is also the final marvelousness of Zen friends, embryonic breathing, that is, the truthful persons who have reached the Tao. Okay, all right, this, this last paragraph emphasizes that when we practice the embryonic breathing we should not hold our breath this causes internal stagnation of the key circulation all right so the key of of the key to embryonic breathing is to keep our breathing deep and long while the body is relaxed and the mind is calm scientifically in order to keep the breathing long we must keep the oxygen consumption to its minimum. For this, we must have a calm, meditative mind centered at the real lower Dan Tian, which is a key residence, combined with an extremely relaxed physical body. All right, so we can go to number 13 since we stopped at number 12 last week. Which is a brief classic is from a brief classic about embryonic breathing written by Wang Wenglu, according to his method. In the great emptiness or in the universe, the spirit is harmonious and prosperous. There is a key that is energy through which the spirit is able to exist. Consequently, the spirit is conceived 
embryo is formed. Once the embryo is formed, it begins to breathe. The beginning of, a em of an embryo is just like a flower, and the navel is like the foot stalk, where the stem, that is the umbilical cord, connects to the embryo. When the mother exhales, the embryo also exhales, and when the mother inhales, the embryo also inhales. This respiration is called XI, X -I, that is breathing. When the breathing has reached its extreme calmness, the pure yang will grow daily. When the embryo is matured, the shape is completed and is born. This is the first original shape, the physical body, to show the world. This is the breathing training which you should focus on so as to reach its softness as a baby. So, it is believed that there are many forms of key energies filling up this universe. Through these energies, the spirit is able to exist and grow. From the existence of the spirit and the key, the embryos of various life forms can be conceived and formed according to Chinese belief. Once the embryo is formed as an independent life, um, it can breathe by itself. This embryonic respiration is called C. And at the beginning of this respiration, the embryo is connected with its mother through the umbilical cord and breathes in unison with her. During this growing stage, the body is in an extremely calm and relaxed state. The breathing is soft and slender and the mind is in a neutral and extremely peaceful state without emotional disturbances. From this extreme calm, which is a yin state, the yang physical body begins to grow. When the manifestation of the yin has been matured, the baby is completed and then born. This tells us clearly that in order to return to the beginning of our life, we must return our breathing to our baby stage. This we can expect to have a long, peaceful life with this. Number 14. All of the writings written by those who cultivated embryonic breathing in ancient times did not reach the marvelous key door of the training. According to the explanation in words, all of them either have lost or gained only in some special areas. Some may say, if there is no breathing, then there is an embryo. When the breathing is restrained without panting, then it is breathing. All of them have their own individual sayings and have not gained the real content of the subject, thus have misled those who learn later. It makes you doubt whether these writings are still beneficial and useful. However, those who cultivated the life have already wasted the time or invested the time and reached the end of their lives. It is really sad that the secret which I have obtained is actually very simple and easy. This is according to the writer in Important Fundamental Secrets of Embryonic Breathing. Okay? So now, to those who wish to learn the future, they should keep it preciously. To receive the key or to cultivate it is the marvelous application of the embryonic breathing. This must be done through analyzing the internal and external key and also the key of the internal organs and bowels. This is all related to the key generated in the body, therefore they must be understood. The commentary here says, talks about the importance of obtaining the true and correct way of cultivating the key through embryonic breathing. Even though there are many documents in existence today, most of them only cover one or two of the possible aspects of the training. Therefore, they are not complete. In order to obtain the real secret of the training, we must have an open mind which allows us to see the different perspectives and aspects of the same thing. 
we should not be stubborn in keeping only one belief. Only after we have collected and studied all of the existing documents, through logical pondering and practice, we will understand the correct way of the practice. Okay. All right, now, the, under this, we have another quote that says, this key must be produced daily. The coerced key manifested at the surface for guarding, protecting, which is the guardian key, is a key generated from the breathing of panting with sounds. If the key is originally coerced, then the life is short. If the key is slender, then the life is long. Those keys cancelled in the internal organs and bowels are the keys of function called managing key. These two keys, guardian and managing keys, do not originate from cultivation and receiving. The embryonic breathing aims for the two yin and yang keys from the heaven and the earth. It is a key that is used to congeal the essence at the beginning, that is, that is the original key. When this key is congealed, the shape, the physical body, is formed. Once the shape is established, then this essence key first congeals and produces two eyes. These two eyes are the essence key of the father. It is called the essence of pure yang. Thus, millions of objects can be seen and inspected. In addition, from receiving mother's yin key, swan pin, that is heaven and earth of the body, is constructed. It is the extremes. Head, heaven, the earth, the other extreme. Conceived, uh, constructed, and this is the mouth and the nose. Okay? Constructed the mouth and the nose. The heaven and earth okay therefore it is known that the shape is the origin of keys receiving while the key is the root of the shape in this case these two keys are the root and stalk of the shape once this root and stalk have been established then the embryo is able to breathe softly by following the mother's breathing after 10 moons 10 months according to the Chinese calendar, the body of the baby is completed. This is how those cultivators use it as a model. It is said that this is for returning to the root, and this is why the embryonic breathing is so important. All right, so the mouth and the nose that refer to here as the heaven and the earth of the body. Well, some writers refer to the head as the heaven and then the perineum as the earth. Because the head is the most young extreme of the body and the perineum is the most yin extreme of the body. The most yin extreme of the body. Soft, very soft. So, and when the baby is in the womb, it is folded. Okay? The sleeping position that is also encouraged even for adults because of the polarity. So, when you bring the polar positive side to the other extreme uh, negative side, the soft and the hard, they come close like a magnet, like a bipolar magnet, okay? And then there will be a lot of exchange of key, okay? Some writers also say this. So, we know that the body's metabolism is completed through biochemical reactions in the body. During this reaction process, Oxygen is one of the most essential ingredients for the new cell's construction and also for the production of energy. The quantity of oxygen is important, important and directly influences the production of ki. Alright, so that is why this example of pushing a car or lifting a, a heavy object comes to mind. Before we tighten our muscles, we will first inhale deeply and then be able to manifest the power to push or to lift. If the inhalation, inhalation is shallow, the power manifested will be weak. So the oxygen content or, uh, or the oxygen quotient 
the oxygen we breathe into the lungs, if we have a deep breath, that we can take in more oxygen and our lungs can derive a lot of this. As we breathe in, the lungs can take a lot, get it into the blood stream to nourish the body. Now the next quotation here is, Ancient people all said, Ki hai is the root and origin of the ki. Ki hai is a lower dantian, another name for that, okay? Which is below the navel. This saying is not true. That Kihai is the root and origin of the key. This is because they did not know how the key ceases and returns to its origin. And therefore, it is useless if repeated or if you reinitiate the key circulation. Ancient immortals all passed down the teaching orally and did not write it down in words. This is because they only wanted to share the secret with those who had the same aspiration. What is called the root is opposite to the navel on the number 19 of the vertebrae. This is a space between two spine muscles and under the bladder, bladder external kidneys, which is called Ming D, that is life stalk also called Ming Men, that is Life Dog, or Ming Zhen, that is Life Root, or Ching Shi, that is Semen Residence. It is the place where the male conceals the sperm and female preserves vaginal secretion. This is the root of producing the key for longevity. This is the root which we should recover today and cultivate increase to increase its production. This is just like mother and son in shape, like apparent shape. Uh, and then why do we keep it? Key is considered as mother while the spirit is considered as son. And this key is the origin of the essence. Key does not have shape. It is not a substance. It follows the essence up and down. First, it establishes the shape and due to the existence of the shape, the key is able to reside. The spirit relies on the mother that is key and does not abandon the mother, thus lives with the mother. Thus, the spirit and the key can reside in the shape firmly, therefore longevity can be expected. Therefore, all of those who cultivate their lives always keep the spirit and the key unified, that is, in harmony with each other. The son and the mother mutually stay with each other. In this case, there is no breathing from the mouth and the nose naturally. Uh, Zhuang Zhao, also known as Zhuang Si, said, Those truthful persons, those who have obtained the Tao, breathe with souls. Souls, S-O-L-E-S. -E that is, they breathe very deeply. Lao Zi, in his own classic, said, Keep the root deep and firm the stalk means to repeat life. This means the most fundamental crucial key is maintaining the key in the life door, Ming Men. Therefore, in the future, those gentlemen should not let out the semen easily. Fantastic. The author of this article believed that Ki Hai, which is CO6, is not really the main concern in protecting the key, okay? Uh, the lower dantian is not the main concern in protecting the key. It is true that Kiai is a place where the original key is produced from the conversation, conversion of the original essence. essence. However, nice. the most important of all is to keep it without losing it. Therefore, 
The writer specified that the most important place we should protect and cultivate is the place under the bladder, which referred to as external kidneys, and these are the testicles and the ovaries. They are the external kidneys, and they are guarded by the water key. And this is where the semen is produced in the male, and the secretion in women are produced around there in the female. He called this place Ming Di, livestock, Ming Men, life door, or Ming Ken, or Jen, life root, or Jing Shi, semen residence. The reason for this is if this place is not firmed, then even if we have built up an abundance of Qi at the real lower Dantian, eventually we will lose it. That is, if we don't have control on our sexual behavior, then we will lose lots of energy. And we lose our key. Our key will seep away. Therefore, the cultivation of key will be useless. Here, the writer of this book now would like to point out that there is a place between L2 and L3 of the vertebrae called Mingmen and it's called the GV4 by the Chinese medicine. So, we should not be confused by this. Number 15. Frank discussion of the correct theory of becoming heavenly immortal, commented by Wu, Shouyang, Ming Dynasty. Frank discussion of embryonic breathing number 9. Chong Su Si said here that ancient embryonic breathing uh, document said Embryo is conceived from the concealed key, and key is initiated from the breathing of embryo. These sayings are the important methods of becoming deities and immortals in the past and future. Again, I would like to comment on it in detail and discuss it frankly. That is as lifted from the marvelous applications of inner truth. Wu Shouyang was a Taoist Qigong practitioner and scholar during the Chinese Ming Dynasty. Chong Shu Shi or Wu Chong Si are the Taoist names of Wu Shouyang. In the first paragraph, he explains the purpose of this document. Thus, when a human has just been conceived, the two keys, Yin Qi and Yang Qi, are combined as one. This is only the key of the emptiness of no shape. There is neither embryo nor breathing. From mother's breathing, the embryo grows into a fetus. The fetus grows due to the inner breathing. When the fetus has formed its structure, it is marvelous that it can be breathing by following its mother's breathing. Therefore, it will not feel suffocating or stuffy in its breathing all day. At this time, it does not breathe through the mouth and nose. There is only a connection with the mother through the umbilical cord. Consequently, he can be alive even though there is no breathing. This is a scenery of the real embryonic breathing. Once the baby has separated from the mother, its inner breathing is broken. There is no more umbilical cord connection between the mother and the baby. Therefore, there is no choice but relying on self, breathing through mouth and nose. Though this serves the same purpose in absorbing the hair as when it was still a fetus, the difference is that the knack of receiving is different. If we wish to reverse the situation and return ourselves to youth, how can we not change our current breathing into the breathing as we were as a fetus? Alright, so that's his own submission. So the first step in learning embryonic breathing is to learn abdominal breathing, which is called womb breathing. We breathe deep into the abdomen and not shallow only into the chest. Theoretically, through these up and down abdominal movements, we'll be able to convert 
our food essence or fat stored at the abdominal area into key through biochemical reactions. Okay, so the next quotation here says, says, whenever you return your breathing to the embryonic breathing by using the nose and mouth, you are returning yourself to the place where the embryonic breathing originally was. It is as if you have returned to the time of embryonic breathing. Practice gradually until reaching the stage that embryonic breathing is as if there and as if not there. What does the as if there and as if not there mean? What does the as if there and as if not there mean? It means as if the breathing has reached the end of the breathing. That is regulating without regulating. It is just like before birth returning to the stage of no breathing and no embryo, which is a Wuji natural state. This is the path which has neither life nor death. It can be done so it's not because suddenly there is nothing for you to rely on or to coordinate with, so you are able to return the breathing to its center for embryonic breathing. This is what is called single yin will not be completed. This is also one of the reasons it must be done when the pre-heaven key, that is original key, has just started to generate. There is also a unique feeling that is existence of the original spirit. In addition to the coordination of the breathing, these three trails are gathered. The great herb that is key can be refined and completed and gathered, and this great herb can then be led, led into the correct timing of the Huang Ting, the place where the embryo is formed. Okay? When we breathe, the one thing is the solar plexus in between the middle dantian and the lower dantian. So when it meets, the fire key coming from above meets with the water key coming from below and it mixes. And that is also referred to as a small. We want to round up here by reading this that there are four stages of cultivation of spiritual enlightenment in Taoist society, the way we mentioned in chapter one. Number one is refining the original essence and converting, converting it into key. Okay, I hope you remember or we can go to the video where I where I went over what is it was in chapter one, uh, uh, the fifteenth week. Number two, purifying key and converting it into spirit. Number three, refining spirit and returning it to nothingness. And number four, crushing the nothingness. So um, I will stop here for today and I look forward that next week we will be able to uh, do our training which is called the uh, Neurosomatic uh, Quantum Key Healing Training. And like I said, we have joining us on the first day Miss Priyanka Mishra. She is a consultant and trainer at the Brain uh, or script Hyderabad, India. And on the second day, I will be taking the path of breathing. We have a lot of interesting things lined up for these two days. Please click on the link in the bio and register. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you so much. To your health, to your wealth, to your sanity, to your vitality, and to your longevity. Keep breathing well, keep being alive. Have clarity of mind. Bye for now. Thank you.